So in this video, I wanna talk about turn on, the power of turn on and how you can use it to attract women way more effortlessly and why so many men are trying to attract women in the complete wrong way by not having this, uh, this part of themselves, in a sense, turned on. Also, if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm gonna show you specific ways to start to change this area of your life. It's all about embodiment and embodying this turn on, and I'm gonna show you ways you can begin to change that. First off, what is turn on and how does it work? And why am I talking about it today? Well, this weekend, last weekend that is, we had a workshop called the Sexual Transmutation Workshop. It's all about activating the turn on, getting all the sexual shame out, the sexual guilt, out, learning to become a powerfully turned on man and being able to uh, bring that out to the world. And why is that so important? That's one of the first things we got to understand. Turn on is a creative energy. It creates passion inside of you. You're not always just turned on for a woman, you're turned on for life. Think of it this way. If turn on can create a baby, it can create a business, it can create art, it can create passion. It can be the reason you get out of bed in the morning. Think about the most successful people in the world. People like Richard Branson, they have a passion for life. They have a passion for getting up in the morning and doing what they do. Think about people that are self-made successful like Conor McGregor. He had a passion for the MMA and a passion for success. He was driven by passion. That's what took him to the top of his game. And you can see this with all the most successful people in the world. People like Michael Jordan, uh, Kobe Bryant. They're turned on for their art. They're not afraid of it and they're not afraid to be turned on. So we already know that turn on is creative energy. Now. Where it goes wrong in dating and meeting women is that a lot of guys mute their turn on. So much sexual shame in the world. We have it all over these billboards, beautiful, sexy women everywhere. And unfortunately, we're not supposed to feel it in our day-to-day -day lives. So we're always muting that part of our body that gets turned on and then going through life a little numb and a little burned out and a little tired. And unfortunately, that does not work because when you go to approach a woman, the implied subconscious message is what? I'm turned on for you. There's something about you. I really want to meet you. And I may or may not want to be intimate with you. I may or may not want to have sex with you someday. For some of you guys that haven't had sex in a long time, I definitely want to have sex with you, right? And there's that kind of energy going on too. So being able to access this turn on, play with this turn on, and dance in this turn on is huge. Because when you walk up to a woman, you should be turned on. That doesn't mean you want to sleep with her. It means you could access the part of your body, and I'm pointing down here to the lower part of my body. You can access this part of your body that allows you to feel warm and fuzzy for getting to know her. There's a sense I'm turned on. There's something about you. I don't know what it is, and I want to know more. I want to see if this grows into something even bigger, and that may or may not lead to sex. But if you're numb from the waist down, and you're all, let me see if I can start shutting that off, and I come up to the heart, and I avoid my turn on altogether and I become really nice. Hey, how you doing? My name's Brian. Hey, there's, you know, you're really beautiful. I just, I just want to meet you. There's something about you. Then what happens is you kind of feel, you might feel nice, but you're not sexy. And if you're really in your head, hi, my name's Brian. I just want to meet you. And you're avoiding your whole lower body. You know, there's something about you. Where, where are you from? Tell me more about it. That doesn't work either. But if you start to drop down into your turn on and you start to own your turn on and you start to play with it and you walk up to women and you're like, hi, there is something about you. I, I just had to come over and meet you. What, what, what's your name? Where are you from? And you start to let that energy, that warm, fuzzy energy come up to your body and connect with yourself. That's when everything changes. It doesn't mean you necessarily want to have sex with her right away but it lets her see the interest or the curiosity. Now I'm betting that all of you have some area, or hopefully you have some area you do get turned on for. Maybe it's music, maybe it's art, maybe it's, uh, I've seen people get turned on for programming and for engineering. They, they get, their body wakes up and they get excited and they, they feel it through the whole body. The hips wanna move, okay? And so I wanna invite you into this idea that you can become turned on for life, that you can transfer this ultimately over to your attraction for beautiful women. And you could say, wow, I can't, I'm nervous, I'm scared, but I can't wait to approach her. And I'm gonna go walk right over with my turn on and I'm gonna say, hi, I really would love to get to know you better and connect to her. Or there's something about you, look at you. Or wow, you look like trouble, look at you. I'm, I had to come meet you, but you're, you know, I gotta be careful because you look like trouble, right? You're gonna be nice to me, right? And you start to learn to play and flirt and have fun with the girls from that turn on because that's what makes 
everything's so exciting. Hopefully you're getting this idea. Really quick though, I want to remind you guys, if you're getting value out of this video already and you really like it, make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell notification and make sure to share the video. That This all helps us to grow the channel. It's huge. It helps us to take the channel to the next level so we can bring you more awesome content. And also make sure to comment. Oh, by the way, if you stay to the end, we're going to talk about how to change this part and how to really make a big shift in this area so you can start to bring your turn on not only to beautiful women which is awesome by the way because it even even makes sex better but to every part of your life and to be able to bring passion to your life when we start to develop turn on when we first begin to develop it it's going to be something we're going to learn to feel in our hips typically you know guys need to learn to feel their hearts i'm going to go through this i've gone through this example a million times we're going to go through it again but when i first started i was in my head hi uh my name is brian how you doing i just want to meet you and then i started to feel my heart and my heart, this warmth started to connect right here and the softness of my shoulders. And I started to be like, hi, my name's Brian. What's your name? Where are you from? And it was nice, you know? And then I started to come down to the stomach and then I started to get more intentional. In the stomach, you get more intentional. Hey, how you doing? My name's Brian, what's your name? And then the turn on. And the turn on was where passion started to create. Hey, my name's Brian, what's your name? Oh, you know what? I had to come over and meet you. There is something about you. And there's a, there's a lower energy into it. You know, damn, you look like trouble. What's your name? And there's a play in it. Now, of course, I'm, I'm making it up as I go right now. It gets a little different when you have somebody in front of you. When you have a beautiful woman in front of you, you have to modulate and adjust to the feeling of the person in front of you. But ultimately, it's stepping into this turn on that makes you so powerful. The turn on happens down here. Now, if you're all turn on, some of you have that problem. That's a different problem and no heart, that's also a problem. So you need some of each. So what do we, what do, we do about this? We gotta learn to wake up and all the nerve endings in a sense, in the hip and the pelvis area. And we gotta learn to be able to move and flow from our hips. In some cultures, they call that the Dante and the Hara, uh, the second chakra. The athletes wanna learn to move and balance off it because it makes them better athletes. I'll tell you how this has improved my snowboarding so much, learning to move off of this part of my body. And uh, things like slacklining, you gotta get down to this part of your body to be able to slackline. It's really important for balance. It's important for movement, for flow. And when you see somebody walking down the street in this part of their body, they're so goddamn sexy. When I see a woman walking in her second chakra, she doesn't have to be the most beautiful woman in the world or her Dante and her Hara or her hips. Let's just say she's walking in her hips because I want to get away from some of these new age terms. And she's walking and moving. It's so much sexier to watch her do it. It's so much more hot to see her do that. And she doesn't have to be the most attractive woman in the world. I'm like, wow, look at her. You know, as you move, this is where you're going to start moving from right in here. And so this is the area. So when you're walking, there's a sense that you're moving forward from here. OK, I'm going to drop that down a bit more. There's a sense you're moving forward from here. So there's a sense of this. And there's this. And so see if I'm going to do that again a little slower. There's a, there's a warmth here and a moving forward from here. Now, you may not nail that perfectly right away, and that's okay. You don't have to. As long as this area is waking up, it will make a change when you talk to people, as long as you can feel it. A, a lot will change in that process. So how do we change this area? Well, I'm going to give you a little commercial, and then I'm going to talk about how we can do it specifically today. The commercial is for my book. The Art of Fearless Seduction. I have a simple little meditation in there called the Sexy Bastard Meditation. It is designed to help you feel more sexy as a man, which will help to wake up this area and to feel sexy when you're approaching women because you don't want to feel sexy after you approach her, which is what most guys do, unfortunately. We walk up and we say hi and then we feel sexy. We're like, if she likes me back, I'll feel validated and then I get turned on. Unfortunately, that's how most of the guys I take out work. Um, they don't mean to, but they do do that. And so if you really want to make a change, that's one of the ways you can do it. But let's, let's talk a little deeper now. Let's talk about what we can do today. One of the things you've got to do is learn to feel and relate to your hips. And so one of the things I do is I'll do a regular meditation where I'll just rock my pelvis. I'll bow and I'll flatten. And if you look at it from the side, I'll, this is flat. The flat of my, my back is flat. This is more masculine. And this is bowed. 
And I used to do this, an old teacher of mine used to have me do this for 10 minutes at a time, really slow, feeling every inch of it, just learning to relax, relaxing wherever I'm tight. As I go back, a lot of times you want to tighten in the glutes and you want to tighten in the ass and you want to tighten in the back of the legs. Just relax all that and see if you can feel down in the ground, feel up your spine a little bit. Then you come forward and you feel this all wake up and then kind of let that drop down into your groin and then come back and just explore. There's no right or wrong to it. You're just learning to feel more, waking this area up. And if you do it for 10 minutes straight, that's what I was originally taught, is do that for 10 minutes straight, stuff will start to change. Now, when I first did it, I didn't feel anything. I was so numb and 10 minutes would go by and I still wasn't hardly feeling anything. And then one day something clicked on and I started to feel a lot, a lot of emotion. I actually cried for a bit. So much came out of me. And I started feeling more and more after that. The next thing that happened was these little tingles started to pop up in time. And I felt a little tingle, uh, particularly, I've talked about this in other videos, on the right side of my hip right here. It was just right here. This little tingle from the movement. And that tingle started to turn into two tingles and three tingles, all because I applied a simple principle called the 1% rule. I started to welcome that, that tingle. It was almost like I got a spark of a fire that started and I just put my hands around it and I protected it from too much wind until it started to take off. And then it, it grew into a huge uh, blazing fire right there. And so that's the same thing down here. I felt that first tingle and I just sat with it and I welcomed it and I didn't rush it. I applied something called the 1% rule. 1% change at a time, just a little bit, then a little bit more, then a little bit more. There was no rush. I wasn't, in, I wasn't looking for a big change today. I wasn't looking for a big change tomorrow. I wasn't looking for a quantum leap. Quantum leaps come from the 1% rule. And so at the end of this video, I'll share another video with you you can watch that will help you to understand this at a much more in-depth level. And you can see the change in me since I created this video because this video is old, okay? And I can't wait to hear your comments on this older video, by the way. So it starts to change. Now, a couple little caveats. As you're moving and exploring and you're looking and you get that tingle and you start to learn to sit with it and meditate on it and this area starts to wake up and this whole area can heat up and start to warm up and tingle, which it did on me, it started to warm up. Notice the difference between moving my pelvis, which moves like this, and moving like a board, which moves like this. I, for some of you that might seem obvious, for others it doesn't, but I have a lot of clients in my workshops that do this and they think they're moving their pelvis. Not good sex, by the way. Learn to do this. Learn to rotate and move and explore your pelvis. As you move around, you can see the pelvis can move side to side. It can move forward and back. It can be, it, and it should be very buttery and loose once you develop a lot of neurology and feeling. You should feel into the ground once you develop that feeling. And with time, that will develop. With just 10 minutes a day of regular practice, you're gonna see so much change in this area. But give it, give it a month minimum. Let's just say a month and don't even look for too much change in a month and just see what starts to happen. Maybe at the end of each week, do a little update, maybe take some notes if things start to happen like on a given day and see where it goes. Combine it with the sexy bastard meditation from this book and uh, things will grow even faster. Add the 1% rule, which is what I'm talking about. Stop trying to look for changes and it's going to get so much easier. And then this 1% rule applies to everything in life. It's so, so powerful. So that's the sexy bastard. Oh, excuse me. That's, that's, the, that's waking up your turn on. And I want you to start taking that turn on into life. When you're turned on with, uh, with your body, when your body's turned on and you go to do get up in the morning and you activate that turn on, you start to wake it up and then you start to apply it to your music, start to apply it to the foreign language you're learning, start to apply it to your job. Watch how things change. And then specifically apply it to approaching, meeting, and dating beautiful women. Apply it to flirting. You know, just having a flirty conversation. It's so, so powerful to sit in that turn on. And then watch what happens when you get to sex with it. The sex uh, can increase radically. So hopefully you like this video. I do have another video I want you to watch. I really want to hear what you think of it because it's an old video from three, at least three years ago. It's, it was a while back and I've changed so much since then, since then. And I want you to notice that in this other video, which is going to be shared somewhere on the screen here, 
uh, it's all about the 1% rule and the power of the 1% rule, that how much I've changed. It, since that time, how much the videos have changed, how much I've changed, all by applying this simple principle of 1% at a time. You see, it doesn't take much. It all compounds over time. And I really wanna hear what you think of that change. It, it'll be really interesting. I'll probably cringe at some of your comments, but I don't mind, that's whatever. So you can put it in this video, you can put it in that video. Uh, definitely check it out. This other video, the old 1% video, got a, a fair amount of views for our channel. So uh, yeah, just check it out. Let me know what you think. And uh, with that said, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, make sure to uh, hit that bell notification, make sure to share because it helps us to grow the channel and uh, make sure to put some comments. We check all the comments and they're really important to us. They really help us to figure out what you need to grow to the next level and for us to grow the channel to the next level. And so with that said, remember only the confident really live. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.